Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany and in today's video, we're gonna do things a little bit differently. I have a little friend with me today. This is my daughter, Michaela, and Danny is in here somewhere too. We are actually in Queensbury, New York, uh, which I believe is like right next to Glens Falls or part of Glens Falls, right outside of Lake George. We are here for Michaela's national dance competition. And we decided, uh, we've got the day today, she doesn't compete until um, tonight, seven o'clock tonight, so we've got the whole day. Um, it's about 11.30 right now, we're gonna go have some lunch and then we're gonna go do some shopping. We found out from some other moms that there is a giant Hobby Lobby here. One mom said it's the biggest one she's ever seen. I will be the judge of that because I've been to a lot of <laughs> Hobby Lobbies. Um, and Michaela has come with me, so she'll be able to know yep. too. So there's Danny. He's practicing saying cute. That's a long story um, <laughs> that maybe we'll fill you in on. But here is a look at our hotel room. We are staying at a Holiday Inn Express. It's an IHG property. We stay at these every time we travel. So when we drive to Florida or when we drove across the country, we try to stay in IHG properties. Um, and really, you, you collect points on, and this is not sponsored. This is just me letting you know. But IHG properties is the way to go. We really like the um, Holiday Inn Expresses. They're clean, their breakfasts are nice, they're always really clean, and yeah. the, the staff is really typically very hospitable. Have, I, we haven't been to a bad one yet, so knock on yeah. wood. Knock on wood. So, all right, so we're gonna get going, and I figured we would take you along with us. So let's go see the hype about this Hobby Lobby. Here's a better look at the room, not behind me, so it's kind of messy, but that's just because it's small and there's three grown people size, you know, grown size people in here. So it's got a nice little desk over here. So if you're working, this is where Michaela did her hair and then, you know, just some drawers if you want to put stuff away. Um, there's like a cabinet over there. You can hang things. I was able to iron my shirt. There's a bathroom. So nice. They came in while we were down at the pool. We went to the pool this morning and had breakfast, enjoyed the jacuzzi, played around in the pool. I taught these fools, <laughs> tried to teach these fools how to I, how to float. Do you know how to float? Comment down below if you know how to float. I My I family doesn't know how to float. <laughs> I can't help but float. I can't do anything but float. <laughs> but my family they would be stranded and dead in no time. They oh, were in the middle of the ocean, oh, so. Yeah. Okay, so now we're really leaving. Michaela's bringing her dance bag just in case we don't make it back to the hotel before we have to go to the venue. And we are on. She's also got her shark slides. Her and her duo partner wear these ridiculous slides backstage. They're kind of dirty. They're, Listen, they're comfy. They're definitely interesting, so. All right, onward and outward. You have a key? You know? Always gotta make sure you have your room key. We got the room key.
Okay, it's four o'clock. We just got back. We went to lunch at Panera and then we walked around TJ Maxx <clears throat> and Hobby Lobby and I got some amazing things. So I'm gonna try to find a way to prop up my camera so that I can show you what I picked up. Um, I don't have my tripod, so I'm gonna try to figure this out. The other thing was we stopped by this great antique mall. Um, I can't remember what it's called right now, but I'll have shown you um, a little shot of it. It was huge. It was like this gorgeous colonial that they clearly had like built onto. Um, it was so hot and sticky and overwhelming in there that I did not get any footage, but I did pick something up, so I'll show you what I bought from there, but I didn't get any footage inside. There were 34 different rooms with different vendors. There were three, three levels. It was insane. So then we went and got some ice cream, and now I think Michaela's going to start getting ready for comp, getting her makeup and stuff done. I think Danny's gonna take a little snooze, and I am gonna show you what I picked up. Okay, so I can't tell if this is a terrible angle or if it's an okay angle, but we're gonna try to make it work. Um, I'm gonna show you what I picked up at TJ Maxx first, because that is where we went first. So, all right, so first thing was Michaela found these cute little, like, tank toppy things. I guess that's what you would call them, tank tops. Bralette, I don't know. They're really cute. They are from, Oh, Seamless Raya Crop Tank. Okay. They were, you get two of them for $16.99. They're incredibly soft, if that's your vibe. I picked up a shirt because I got a stain on this one at lunch. Cannot really see it, but, and I only brought one other shirt that I'm gonna need to wear tomorrow. So I picked up this shirt at TJ Maxx really really soft it's almost like a sweatshirt god this is a terrible angle for hauls but we're gonna make it work um it was also $16.99 loved the color hopefully you can hear me over the um what is that thing the air conditioner it's really hot and humid outside so I'm not gonna turn it off we did grab we did grab a couple things for my oldest son um, he's like really picky about his clothes and he would literally live in basketball shorts every single day um, which is uh, perfectly appropriate for the summer but I'd really love it if he could just wear like some nicer looking clothes during the school year so Danny picked him out some like sweat shorts you know just super chill sweat shorts black he picked him up some in this like teal color and they are a little bit shorter, they're seven inches. So above the knee comfort, which you know is kind of the thing nowadays. Danny, did you buy these for him or you? Him. These? Uh, him. Got them this pair too. They're like a nice like um, athletic wear. Mm. They were all $9.99, I think. Wow, that air conditioner couldn't be louder could it um he also got him this o'neill shirt which i think he actually is probably going to steal for himself to be 100 percent honest with you yep and there's the yes confirmation okay so i did go through the home decor stuff um i always oh i lied to you before we move on to that let me show you a couple oh danny got razors um i think those are actually also for the boy and um <clears throat> My uh, third grader, now going into fourth grade, Griffin, he has terrible allergies. And when we swim in the lake, which it's summer, like that's all they want to do, um, the pollen from all of the trees around the lake just sits on top of the water. And it he is literally swollen shut for days after he swims in the lake. Um, and I'm not convinced that it's just the pollen. I think there's a possibility that it's whatever they treat the water with, but I can't prove it. But um, he asked for goggles that cover his nose so that he doesn't get as much in his nose. So I picked these up. Um, they were $5.99, oh, I'm sorry. And they came with little goggles too. So, you know, Ryan or Ronan could use those. But these hopefully will help to keep some of the pollen out of his nose. And that was a really good price, 
And then I did pick up a couple, like I said, of home items. Um, Danny likes these bamboo scrubbers, so we picked up a new one of these. They're three ninety nine. Um, I did pick up a a powerful speed dryer, a salad thinner, and this was seven ninety nine. And you, I'm not going to do it now, but you just spin this, and it spins your fruits or vegetables on the inside. So when after you clean your fruits and vegetables you can run them through that i had one and it broke and then i also picked up some new cutting boards um we were actually talking this morning about how i've had my same cutting boards since i moved out of my parent my mom's house and into my first apartment i think i was 19. um and so yeah these were 9.99 i thought they were really really pretty they have like this kind of cream color and then this like robin egg blue super cute so that is everything from TJ Maxx let me show you the one little thing I picked up at that antique shop so I just put out a video about some of my favorite like kitchen staples what I look for in um, like decor for the kitchen it's kind of the same stuff that I'm always looking for when I go to antique shops and I had my family on the hunt for specific things what were you looking for family we're looking for are we talking about the antique shop or yeah um, Crocs, landscape pictures. Um, that was it. Yeah. Crocs and landscape pictures. So basically like stoneware. They had this beautiful croc and I should have gotten a video of it. It was gigantic. Um, probably like from the floor, you know, to, to the top of this bed. Um, just absolutely beautiful, $175. But they also had this beautiful stoneware pitcher. Um, just absolutely gorgeous. I love the shape of it and the colors. You can use it as an actual picture if you wanted to, um, but my intention is to put some flowers in it. I'm not sure yet, but I think it'd look really pretty on my dining room table. Um, but I love this, so, so pretty. So that's the only thing I picked up. Their prices were ridiculous, so we only picked up one item. Let's do Hobby Lobby now. So, um, I was thrilled to see, okay, so I told you guys before we went there that I was told it's like this gigantically large Hobby Lobby, and it was. It was definitely a big Hobby Lobby. Um, however, <laughs> um, I, they were definitely in transition, so I don't know if it was just the transition of seasons. I think it was also a mix of a transition with their um, store layout. I have seen in a couple of people's videos here on YouTube that um their home that their hobby lobby is changing the layout so they're kind of getting rid of the kiosk feel um and this one definitely had all of that but they had so much empty space empty shelves and it still had like the same stuff that i would find in my hobby lobby so i didn't feel like it was a better one but Spring Shop was 66% off, so I was thrilled about that. Wall decor was 50% off. Um, all of their fall decor was 40% off already, and their florals were 40% off. So it was good for shopping for the things that I like to buy. First and foremost, I stopped in um, the floral section, and I picked up these um, Limelight Hydrangea. I'm gonna say they're Limelight. They don't look like the shape of the limelight, but they're the color of the limelight. I have seen these in lots of people's um, videos from like Amy Fritz. Uh, she's used these a lot. I've also seen these in um, Andrea from Pine and Prospect Home. And I've always thought they were really, really pretty, especially when they're paired with some kind of wood element. Um, I just think they look really nice. I was almost not going to buy them because where they had them in the store, they were right next to like their cream colored hydrangea. Such a terrible idea because it makes them look fluorescent, like fluorescent green. Um, and there's a piece like down here that these little pieces are pretty fluorescent, but the rest of them are just this really pretty like lime green. Um, and I think these are a really great option for summer. 
and uh, we're gonna give them a shot. I'm kind of bummed I didn't buy more. Like now that they're out of the store and I see them in this basket with the other things that I bought, I, I actually really, really like them. And I'd like to have them in more than one place. I'm thinking I'm gonna put them in my entryway and then I also think that they would look really pretty on my dining room table. So I may have to get a couple more since they're on sale. But these are normally $14.99, but they are 40% off. And like I said, they're just a really pretty green. And you guys know I love a, a real plant so much, but flowers, I feel like faux is the way to go because they die. And I, no matter what I do, I'm not gonna keep them alive forever. So buying faux florals to me is the way to go um, because I can use them season after season. Um, the next thing that I picked up, I actually already have one of these, but I grabbed two more because I love them and I love to use them kind of all throughout the home and they're perfect for little risers. And that is these cute little um, stools or like a little miniature stool. Let's see what it says on here. Plant stand. They're normally $17.99. They were 66% off. I don't have my receipt with me. Um, they, like I said, were 66% off. So, you know, I think there were somewhere around six bucks. Um, six dollars and change so they're perfect to lift up your plants give things a little bit of elevation you could put a candle on it you know what I mean but they're great right now I have one styled on the sideboard in my living room and I would love um, I'm always looking for like a little riser so these little plant stands are perfect for that sticking in that you're gonna hear Michaela farting around in the background by the way she's gonna be doing Sorry. her makeup you're fine um, sticking in the spring shop, I picked up these two stoneware options. One is this spoon rest. Look how huge this thing is. Like, it is huge, and I love the color. I think it's so pretty. It brings in, like, that really pretty, like, um, stone element into your kitchen. I talked about this in my video from today. This was $9.99, but I think I got it for, like, 3 like three dollars and change um which i couldn't pass up i think it's absolutely gorgeous and it's a really good size so when i'm cooking nice place for ladles and my spoons and then in that same area i picked up this pinch pot it just says a ceramic bowl um it was 4.99 so i got it for like less than two dollars but my intention for this is to use it for a pinch pot for um salt but I love the color and I think it's just really, really pretty. A great way to bring in some warmth to the kitchen. So those two pieces together, I think are just so pretty. Like, just absolutely beautiful. Hopefully I don't break them <laughs> on my way home. You might be asking yourself, why would you even say that? I don't even know. The next thing that I picked up, um, I actually grabbed 12 of these. So I have been eyeing um, these little placemats they're like a really pretty rattan or no they're water hyacinth i think uh oh they're jute i'm sorry um placemats and they're normally 7.99 and they were 66 percent off so i got them for like 370 i think um which is an excellent price so i picked up 12 of them because you know there's a lot of us i actually probably should have picked up more like 16. um when we have the entire family including danny's um, brother and his wife and uh, my niece and nephew and then my my sister-in-law and then my mother and father-in-law and like when we had thanksgiving you know what i mean we had close to 20 people so um probably should have picked up more but I just think these are really really pretty I have been eyeing these I think that they just can elevate your table and make it look you know a little bit more put together so great time to buy them now you know what I mean especially before Thanksgiving and um, other holidays so like I said I picked up 12 of those one thing Michaela has been on the hunt for it um, our new pulls for her dresser and she has an ikea dresser just um i can't remember which which one it is but it's the white one I'll, I'll post a picture right here of not hers but like what it is at the store um it's really pretty and she just wanted something to make it feel a little bit more like personalized more like for her so she found these adorable gold pulls that are flowers 
They were normally $4, but they were 50% off, so they were $2. So she got six of those for her drawers. Love those. I'm so excited. She is so excited, if you didn't hear her. Okay, but the last two items I got from the spring shop are giant, so I'm gonna stand and like flip the camera around to show them to you, but I'm gonna show you one last item that was not from the spring shop, uh, but it was 50% off because their wall decor was 50% off. It's $12.99. So I got it for $6.99 and it is this really pretty like cutting board that has this etched home in it. It's picking up a little bit warmer on the camera than it is in real life. It's a little rare, but it's so pretty. And I think this would look gorgeous in my kitchen on the wall. Um, I talked again in my most recent video about bringing in as much wood element as you possibly can into your space. It just helps to make everything feel really warm and inviting. So I saw this and I thought it would be really pretty. I know some people do not love like the, the words on decor and I go back and forth with it. Like sometimes I like it um, and sometimes I think it looks really tacky, but this I really, really love. I think it's really pretty and I loved the font. Um, and I loved the shape of the board and it's nice and flat So if this will go really nicely on the wall I have a perfect spot for it in my kitchen that I've actually been thinking about what can I put in that space? Um, so I can't wait to hang that so stay tuned. Okay, I was going to stand up and I realized I forgot one last item um, I found this in the kitchen area. It was $5.99 and it's not wall decor, it's table decor, so it wasn't on sale, but it's this cute little rolling pin decor. Um, and I just think this would look so pretty in my little cabinets that I have in my kitchen, like my little hutch cabinets. Um, it's super cute. So again, just, I'm such a sucker for wood. Like I'm pretty much, pretty much everything I bought um, is kind of in the same color wheel, but um, but look at how pretty oh God. the green and the wood look together. Like, obviously these two things are not going together, but I just kind of wanted to point out the green looks so much better when it's next to wood element. So if you are on the fence about these green hydrangea, give it a try. Okay, so here is the second to last thing I picked up from the spring shop. This basket, which is gigantic and beautiful, um, was normally $60, I think. Yeah, $59.99, but it was 66% off, so I think I got it for around $20. Um, but I think that this would look stunning um, either in my bedroom, like with blanket and a pillow in there, um, or I might put this one in the living room and then switch it out for the one that I have in the living room. I put that one in my bedroom, which is, that one's rectangle, this one's circular. I really am loving the rounded edges right now. Um, so we shall see. Okay, and here is the last thing that I picked up. It is this giant charcuterie board or cutting board. I don't know what it's, what it's listed as. Spring Shop, it was normally $79.99, but it was, again, 66% off, so I got it for like $27. What does it say? Wood serve wear. It is acai wood, so food safe, hand wash only. But I don't know if you can see like how big this thing is. Like it's giant. Like I could fit a gigantic large pizza on this bad boy. Like it's huge. My intention is to use it for a charcuterie board. Um, but for that price, like I could look at how much like of the bed it's taking up <laughs> it's gigantic but it's really pretty and like the wood is super soft and gorgeous i will tell you if you do cut on this it will like cut into the wood so i would not recommend doing that i would recommend just using it to to like serve food on it and if you do i would put like wax paper underneath or even um clear plastic you know like plastic wrap um, you could put that down there too so that way it doesn't stain your wood um, because that could happen it could stain so just absolutely beautiful and I'm so excited about that piece someone is tired it's pretending to take a nap or trying to take a nap I don't know what you want to call it me upstairs. <laughs> we were talking about how the kids 
used to pretend that they would be asleep so that somebody else could carry them either in the house or up the stairs. And we were brilliant. And they were brilliant apparently, but anyway. So that is everything that I picked up at the stores. Now I have to find a way to pack it all back in. All right. I was just trying to shove everything that I bought into this basket. And I just thought to myself, wow, that would be such a cute gift. Like, <laughs> put it all in the basket and then, you know, give the basket as a gift. That would be so cute. Except the hydrangea are giant and don't fit, so I have to figure that out. But, yeah. There. We also have to figure out how to fit the salad spinner in there. It's not cute, but it fits. But that all looks like it'd be a cute gift. I just put that new stoneware pitcher in here. So pretty. Just matches everything so nicely. I was just telling Michaela how pretty the hydrangea would look in there. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to go get some more. But look, now you can see like this weird you know, green that's happening in there. But if you just don't look at that part and you just look at it as a whole, you don't really notice that. And man, those would look, oh, did we just lose a flower? Oh, we did. It's okay, we'll put it back on. But I just think those would be so pretty in that stone pitcher. Anyway, you gotta love when you go shopping and you're so happy with everything you took home. All right, so this weirdo. This is what we do when we're alone in the car and we need to eat something. We go to Price Chopper, in this case we went to Market 32, and we got ourselves some sushi. So right now the car looks like a mess because Michaela's got her drinks back there from earlier. And got our drinks. We also got coffee that we're gonna pause our drinking so we can eat and we're gonna have a little sushi date in the car. Michaela just went in mm -hmm. to go get herself situated. We love our little sushi car dates. We do love our sushi car dates. We started, are you done? <laughs> These started when we first moved out here. So we got this delicious looking one and then we also got. This delicious looking. <laughs> yeah, this delicious looking one. So we're gonna enjoy. I'm gonna turn this off so Danny can fix his chopsticks and then we're gonna eat, and then we're gonna go in. Here we go. I just have to go like this. And literally, okay, this one looks spicy. <laughs> Let me eat it. <laughs> mm. I see sriracha on there. No, it's not spicy. Just a little baby kick. Pull too much wasabi? Mm. No, but it's a chunk of it. This chunk appropriate in that term. I think so. I think this one might have touched the wasabi. You have no idea. Yes, I sure will. Yeah. 